Okay, this is Monument Lake, which is right off Highway 12, about an hour's drive outside of Trinidad, Colorado. So it's nice to be able to see something like this without having to drive hours and hours and hours. I mean, there's stuff like this in Oregon, but you got to drive out of Portland by at least an hour, hour and a half. This was, this was a nice little drive today. I'm probably like, yeah, I'm 36 miles outside of Trinidad. And I initially found this on the map, looking at Google Maps. And drove a few miles in this direction a few months ago, but didn't drive the full way. Today felt like that day upon waking, before I even ate breakfast. Today felt like the day I love, I love the red rock, by the way. I took about uh, six or seven pieces of red rock. It's so green here in Colorado. They've seen more rain. They're on their way out of the drought. Meanwhile, other states are seeing less rain. I've had dreams about Colorado getting more rain and the weather changing, sinkholes, other things. I think it'll be a, a safe place to be, parts of it, in the future. But anyway, that's another discussion for another time. We're actually passing through some really good-looking campsites. see a sign, a welcome sign saying enter, so I'm not going to go check out the camping sites, but there is a lot of private property up here, and that's also what's nice to see. It's a mix. You know, there's a lot of uh, roads that say uh, wildlife refuge, or there's a few state parks, Trinidad State Park. Trinidad Lake State Park has multiple entrances spread out over miles. And that's back closer to Trinidad. But this is this is further up. Further away from Trinidad. In one of the greener parts of Colorado. State Wildlife Area, North Lake. That's where we're uh, passing by at the moment. There's a lot more growth. The elevation is, uh, well, it's probably at least 7,000 feet, maybe even up to 76. So I've gone up significantly in elevation. But we're, uh, we're doing this on a June day, June 26, 2015. There's no... National Forest Access, and it's pointing me to the left. You can hear water. A couple years ago, I went uh, backpacking with an old friend, and we went to the San Juan Mountains, and that was about an hour's drive from where I was staying in the San Luis Valley. This reminds me of that, but this is like, this is a really beautiful time to be somewhere like this, 
And typically, places like this, I mean, right now, it's a, it's a Saturday. Typically, you'd be running into people. If I was back home in Oregon, um, within a few hours of Portland, there'd be people, you know, left, right, all over. Someone just passed by and I let him pass. And I'm just now exploring this road here. Because I, there's a lack of signs. So I'm like, oh, I hope I don't end up in someone's private residence. But the sign said National Forest. And so I guess here, in this part of Colorado, you know, that you want to go in the National Forest? Well, there's going to be roads that are going to lead you up into the National Forest. <laughs> wow. So it's a little more expansive. There's some more options here. Now, instead of continuing on this particular road, I'm gonna go back up the way I came. And eventually I'm gonna turn back. But I wanted to get closer to Monument Lake. The Monument Lake. And there's like a resort back that direction and if they're like the only ones with access to Monument Lake well I'm gonna see if I can access Monument Lake yeah okay look at this Boy Scouts. This is some sort of a uh, Boy Scout property right there. Okay, so. Welcome to your state wildlife area. North Fork State Wildlife Area. Purgatory Campground, three and a half miles up. Okay, so we're, we're gonna take this route. a lot of country uh, stations and songs I've never heard before. And look, even the road has got kind of like a red rock thing going. Oh, look at that. Look at that grass. So I'm like outside of Trinidad by 30, 35 miles. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that road. So basically, instead of driving hours to be here, like, like I'm not driving at 60 miles an hour, so, you know, it's at, where I'm at least an hour now, maybe an hour 10 minutes, hour 20, but it's been all pleasurable, I mean, the whole drive. Wow, look at that butterfly. Look at those trees. And again, I'm not having to deal with a bunch of other people. Look, there's no one behind me. Normally I'd turn the station by now, but you know what? There's no singing, so I can deal with this. Wow.
I'm gonna have to get more red rock. Looks like a few statues up there. I'm really fascinated by Colorado. I want to know more about the history of Colorado. Was this all ocean a long time ago? And uh, was there an ancient civilization that lived in this part of the country? Where is Colorado going from here? And as well as the rest of the nation. It certainly seems to be a special place. You know, there may be certain military things that go on here, but there are in most states. There are National Guard um, centers in a lot of places, and it's not... Okay, so here, the road starts becoming a little rougher, so I'm not going to drive on those tracks. I'm just going to have to be very careful and watchful. It's like a jungle here. See the, the trees change? And beautiful road. I've never I've never driven through. I mean I figured you have to go to Arizona for this. I didn't know it was like, you know, a red colored road. It's all the the red colored road. Car talk. <laughs> Let's see what they're singing about. <laughs> I ain't gonna be your Facebook friend. I mean, should I be like concerned about mountain lions? I gotta. I don't know if I mean. I'm not driving up into that. Forget it. I mean, I, I might be a little bad at the bone, but I gotta preserve my bones. Can't be walking up into a lion's den. Outlines here, bad of the bone too. I printed out some amazing theme music and then found out that my friend's CD player doesn't work. So, no CDs today. But you know what? This works. We're in a special part of Mexico, folks. I started out in Colorado and ended up going through a portal. So I'm in, I'm in Arizona now. No, I, no this is Okay. Hey.
This was an accident. This was an accident. I'm sorry, it was an accident. Where are we? I don't know. But I know how to get back. There's water there, and I've got gas. And we're following the red paved road somewhere. And if we see him, look at that red rock. We got water over here. like get in line now and order my burrito. I'll have the uh, with the hot salsa with the habaneros. I just passed by somebody with the motor home. You have to have a pass to camp here. Uh, there is a, some primitive supply and stuff. Uh huh. Okay, well, I'm just checking it out. But okay, thank you. This way. All right. <laughs> Good info. Primitive camp spots. That's free. That's what that means. There's free places to camp up here. Okay, so I'm not totally in the boonies. <laughs> I just passed by a couple of people in a, in a motorhome. So, this is a... Uh, Crystal City. Affiliate stations in California, KERU, live KBBF, Calistoga, Santa Rosa, Idaho, KBSX, HD3, Boise, in Iowa, KWIP. This might be KRZA out of uh, Alamosa. HD2, Davenport, K291, BP, Edendorf, Texas, KXJT, Rio Grande City, and in Wyoming, KLCA, Laren. So now we're going through another gate. This says uh, San Isabel National Forest. Camping and campfires on FDR 34 at designated campsites only. Okay, so uh, four by four, fours were allowed up until the point that we just, uh, up until that gate. Now, Okay, there's a campsite. We'll go ahead and take a quick look. We'll keep driving up the road here a little bit. Looks like there's uh, good water access. This, this is greener than most Oregon campsites. I kid you not. I kid you not. <coughs> Flowers blooming. 
some sort of ash looking stuff here. Not sure what this is. Feels wet. It's rained here recently or overnight. So this area probably gets a lot more rain. Simply being up in the mountains. So this is like the ideal time to be here. And it's Lucy on stage two. Come on down. Make that money. Yes, living in the grid is wonderful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a good little tune. Happy music. Seems like I've gotten pretty good gas mileage, you know, this has been a really good adventure for me to embark on. But let me just say this, I think I'm really, I'm going to really work hard to establish some roots here in Southern Colorado. This is a nice little uh, national forest discovery for me. I didn't find this on a map, I just, I just found this by getting in the car and going. across the road. Like this. This is Colorado is starting to get more water. This is a nice little spot. You know, I passed by a few people, but that was it. And this is like the ideal time to get me. You know, I'm filming on this uh, iPhone. I don't have a cell phone, but someone sent me uh, iPhone as a backup camera, so this is not the regular camera that I use. So hopefully, uh, the colors are green. Hopefully, it's really uh, showing up. I think it is. I can see it. It's a higher quality camera, and I've definitely broken it out of the box, so to speak, for a very special occasion. Nice, beautiful, like, you know, like, just the, the trees, that reminds one of, uh, uh, I don't know, not necessarily Tyler, but, you know, Tyler's like bamboo, you know, the jungle of the atmosphere, so the tall grass here. Anyways, my battery's low, and I'm going to... and enjoy some of the scenery here. 